Nah, so you never been in a fight before. Hey, she, hey, y'all seen that, y'all? Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Hey, oh, oh, you gonna stop? Hey, hey, y'all see this, nah? Hey, y'all see this type of shit, bro? Go ahead. What's up, everyone? What's going on? It's JP with Calm Vibes, and I'm back at it again. So let's talk about it. I've seen this uh, this video where a young couple they have a child together, and it seems as if the the young man was coming to get the child. I mean, the child's all the way in the truck in the back seat, and somehow the mother don't want to take the child. And so she's calling the police, so he started recording. Now, the crazy thing is, her, I guess her friend or best friend that's hanging around, tries to attack him and stab him with scissors. The baby mama just standing there like, like, like her friend ain't done shit. Now, the friend could have killed your child's father. Now, before we let it roll, go ahead, show the love, guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button that like and that notification and show some love i appreciate those that have um let's say let's try to move that needle on and get these subs up and the views up so um make sure you hit it make sure you hit the like okay all right now let's just get down to it man check this shit out and i'm gonna recap in between this one. Oh yeah hey this is what i'm dealing with right now He's on live. Yeah, I'm on live because you're lying. I'm not lying. You are. Show everybody you are. You're, you're lying. Okay. You're a lying. I'm a good dad, and I take care of my child. Okay. Yeah, okay. and my mom helps more than your parents. Okay. Yeah. Your mom, not you. Yeah, and me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got y'all. Yeah. This is what I'm dealing with right now. She calling the police on me. Uh, T Tell it, she telling me what clothes, she telling what clothes I got on. I'm not finna run, I'm not finna do none of that because I ain't got time for no police stuff like this. Huh? Hey, Olivia, I'm sorry because this is what I'm dealing with right now. Come on, Adrian, don't put your hands on me, don't push me. Don't get in my truck. Can you get out of my truck, please? I just had her. Why can I not pick her up now? We already talked about this. I just had, we're, we're not, not talking about anything. On. She's on the phone with the police right now and trying, trying to justify me. I'm getting, I'm picking up my baby, y'all. Like and I can't get no, my that baby. Ain't even what it is. I don't care. Yeah, care and it's going to be saved. Yeah. Boy, y'all don't even know. Hey, what ain't no marks, on. ain't no marks on her face or nothing. How you going, how you going, yeah. You can't tell about nothing. I've had my, I've had my baby before. No, this is a toy. You can't have that. Yeah. Oh God, man. Somebody... Okay, so this is the part that gets me. Young dudes, stop fucking around with the social media. Stop going live every time y'all have a situation. Everybody don't need to know what's going on with y'all. And the young lady, you know, you arguing with people that's on live, and you still have the police on the phone, and it's like. Why? What makes y'all think going live is gonna fix y'all problem? These people around you, they don't, they're not involved. It's you, her, and the child. Now, how does child get in the back seat of this car and now you have a problem? I, I don't know. But young man, you gotta handle this better than this. You can't be on here screaming like a fucking woman, arguing back. You should have left the situation and come back in a better way. That That's just how I see it. You should have just left. Give the daughter back and you go handle your business situation. You don't need to be getting caught up with all this other shit. And you ladies need to stop calling that fucking man. And you know what man I'm talking about to put your boy in check. Every time something don't go right, y'all don't date right or whatever, First fucking thing y'all do, I'm going to call the police. I bet you'll do right there when the police come. And then y'all wonder who's the fucking oppressors for us. Y'all don't know how to handle your own shit. First thing I jump on the phone, call the police. He wasn't even doing shit. 
Let him spend time with the baby. The baby asking for him. Let him spend time with the baby. Like, damn. Check this shit. On God, man, somebody called my sister. Somebody called them, man. She done, she calling the police because I'm picking my daughter up. Nazi, you never been in a fight before. Hey, she, hey, y'all seen that, y'all? Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Hey, oh, oh, you gonna stop? Hey, hey, y'all see this, nah? Hey, y'all see this type of shit, bro? Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Y'all see this? Now, see, this where this shit went off the track right here when that young lady attacked you with the scissors that's when you should have called the police not crying and whining yeah you filming it but as soon as you finish filming her doing that shit you should have called the police and if after this shit you should have called if you had her ass locked up now what was crazy is did she have that shit planned because she came out the back pocket them scissors real quick now the baby mom she just turned her back and kept walking like yeah, girl. And the dumbest thing about this, if that girl had stabbed him in his chest and punctured his heart, he would have died right there. Now, you'd allow your friend or whoever the F this girl was to kill your baby daddy in front of her. Y'all don't be thinking, man. This girl could have killed her daddy in front of her. And you walk in like you don't give a fuck if she did it or not. That's the shit that bothers me. So you hate this boy that much that you rather your friend kill him. Because y'all ain't together. Not even worry about how you going to traumatize your daughter. Ladies, y'all got to get y'all shit together, man. I understand y'all got a problem with a dude or whatever. But y'all got to get y'all shit together. That is nothing to be playing around with. He should call the police after this and lock that motherfucker up. Period. I don't know who she is, what she is to her, but she attacked him with a weapon. So that's assault with a deadly weapon. And that's a felony. And her ass needs to be locked up. If you didn't go call and lock up, you can't say shit else about anything else. Don't come on live crying about nothing ever again. Check the rest of this dumb shit out. Y'all, 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 man. Y'all gotta get y'all shit together, man. I'm just saying. I don't know who leading y'all young men out here. You know, I don't know. And y'all young ladies, where, where are your parents at? Where are your grandmother or aunts? Somebody tell y'all what the fuck to do. Because y'all don't know what the fuck to do out here. Everybody just running out here just trying to make shit up. Looking stupid as shit, doing stuff. Just... Bro, y'all see this, bro? Y'all see this type of shit, dog? Y'all see this type of shit, bro? Y'all see this type of shit, bro? This is what I gotta go through, bro. With a little girl, bro. That look just like me, dog. Man, it, man, y'all see this type of shit, bro? Y'all see this type of shit, bro? Go ahead. Get the fuck out my face. Why is she touching me? Why is she touching me? She just hit me. She just hit me and it's on live. Okay, so now this this where I don't like all this. Young man, why are you screaming like a woman? Are you trying to get the attention of the neighbors? I mean, what, what are you doing? That's why I say who is leading these young men? When did we go and start screaming like, she just hit me. She hit me. Why are you hit me this live? Who on the other end of that phone could come out there and do anything? This is your situation with your baby moms. Now, she got a friend over here in the middle of it. That's wrong, too. But you need to handle this better because now you're looking like the sucker on this. And as you guys get to the end, you'll see some other dumb shit he ended up doing. But you should have left the situation. Call the police, especially when the girl tried to stab you with the scissors. That's where you should have stopped it, right there, and called the police. Because now you have an argument if you go to court that you got friends out here waiting to stab me and she knows she was waiting on her because she turned her back and walked away. So this girl's supposed to be your, what, your backup? Like she kept running up in the dude's face and we talked about that women running up in men's face. Now, when he made this mistake, he pushed her. Should never did that, man. Let her hit you. You call the police and leave. 
don't stay there and then start getting back and forth with her. Because they're going to ask you why you didn't leave. Why didn't you leave, young man, when she tried to stab you the first time? Why didn't you get in your car and leave? But you pursued them and kept walking. And now you're screaming like a fucking woman out here. I... See, this is why y'all need to let these dudes be around their dads when they're young. Because somebody's dad will tell them, stop acting like that. That's not how men react to things. We don't go screaming like we need fucking assistance from the neighbors. From two women and one carrying a baby. Come the fuck on, man. Check this shit out, though. I want y'all to check out the ending of this shit. Because this is what I didn't like. Why did you just push her? Knock your ass out. What? No, I didn't. I got somebody for you in real life. Stay right here. Stay right here. She's telling me to come on and I can't get Stop. Don't snatch my baby from me. Stop. You hurt her head. Stupid ass bitch. Now, this is where this little clown ass dude messed up. You incriminate yourself twice. All right? Now... You, the girl with the scissors, she was walking away from you. You pushed her in the back. Wrong. Now that's assault on you. You can't say she was a, still a threat because she was walking away from you. Then your dumb ass followed the woman, the baby mom, into the stairwell and did something and then tried to run. But you can hear her saying, you hurting her, stop it. And you can tell by her voice, your ass was doing something. And then you run back out. Even when you push the girl, she said, why did you push her? Now she want to speak up, but still. And all this bullshit you just did, you still don't have a case against the mother. You did all this shit and incriminate yourself twice with the stupid ass baby mom's friend. But the baby mom stood there, she stayed on the phone, she called the police, didn't engage with your ass, and stayed calm. So guess who looked like the asshole? You do. You look like the aggressor, ain't like the asshole. Should've called the police, once that girl tried to stab you, you should have got your ass in that truck and sat and called the police. Then let the police call, arrest that motherfucker, and then you work it out with your baby mom. But she definitely would have got arrested. You don't hang around, pursue them, then the girl turn her fucking back, you push her in the back, and then she goes like, I'm gonna go call somebody for you. Now she calls some more people over to be involved with this shit with, between you and your baby mom. So y'all just including people in y'all shit. Why is so many people involved in your shit in between you, your baby mom, and the child? Y'all got the police. She got friends coming, family, whoever the fuck coming is supposed to jump on you. Which they're going to catch up with you later because you're going to say you pushed her, you hit her. Which is another thing. But what I'm saying is, guys, we got to get where... Do like what women do. You assault a woman, she call the police on your ass. She assault you, you need to call the police on her ass. That's all I'm saying. Assault is assault. No one should be putting their hands on anyone. The girl with the scissors, that's definitely got to go. Because she could have killed you in front of your daughter. And I don't know why the baby mom thought that was nothing. She just kept walking like it wasn't nothing. When he said that screaming, she tried to stab me with scissors. She didn't say, girl, stop and nothing. Don't do that. She just turned. Because y'all not thinking. If she had done that, now your ass would have been in trouble. Because she, they would have put that shit together that you knew she had the scissors. She was planning on doing it. And now they took the child away. And put the child in fucking foster care or some shit. We got to be smart in this, people. But 
I just thought I'd let y'all see this bullshit, and and I'm not gonna spend a lot more time on it. It's we just got to do better. Y'all need to let these these boys see their dads, and let these kids see their dads or whatever these girls, mothers. Stop making it personal with the baby dad for these child to children. If y'all don't get along, okay, maybe he want to be a good dad to the child. Let him be a good dad to the child. Start with this personal shit. You don't want my baby around this person and all this shit. That child got to grow up. And if y'all two not going to be together, then y'all going to be with other people. Better get used to that shit now when you're young and still fighting over that shit when y'all get older. So with that being said, this is JP with Calm Vibes. Don't forget, guys, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, and keep sending me the videos. I will talk about it if you send it to me. So I'm out of here, and I don't want no more of this bullshit. Let's not see no more of this shit. We got enough black on black crime. But y'all take care. This is JP with Calm Vibes, and I'm out of here. Peace.